Hello Leah, welcome to the Heart Space, Theron Astrology. I'm so happy to have you here. If you are returning, thank you so much for your support and love. If you are new, welcome to the Heart Space. I really hope uh, you're going to enjoy it here with us and you are going to gain a lot of clarity for the month of April. Now, I sat in your energy, Leo, as per usual, and I was getting from your spirit guides that you are lighting up the room, Leo, in the month of April, and not only. And people can't help but notice it. Of course, we know, Leo, that you are ruled by the sun. And so your inner light and your magnetism are very powerful at all times. There is a very important message here for you. There will be somebody that you will attract in the month of April. You, you will attract a lot of people into your life in the month of April. You might be going to a lot of uh, uh, events, you might be going out a lot, doing a lot of outdoor activities. You will meet somebody in the month of April, Leo. And the big sign is going to be your body. Your body will tell you that this person is one of your soulmates that you are going to meet. Okay? Now, please pay attention to your body, how this body feels when you are near people that you are going to meet during this time, okay? Because your body will communicate to you. All right? This is exciting for you, Leo. And I did get that uh, it will most likely be an air sign. Now, or somebody with a lot of air in their chart, okay? Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Okay, let's jump into your spread. Let's get a couple of overall energies for you for the month of April. Thank you so much for you guys. All Leo needs to know for the month of April. See? Talisman. Magic stream. Wow. Telling you, Leo, somebody will show up into your life. When you're going to meet this person, your body will have this wild frequency boost, magic stream. This person will show up in your life and will dangle their light and say, Hey, <laughs> I am your soulmate. Do you recognize me? And they carry with them knowledge, emotional fulfillment. They carry with them a lot of abundance. One ring circus, okay. One more, I'm being guided to take. Thank you so much. Ooh, unexpected visitors. Unexpected visitors, do you see? There's somebody coming into your life, I'm telling you. You might not expect it. You might be just doing you, you know, being uh, beautiful and radiant. And this person will come into your life and you have to listen to your body. Because your body will tell the story okay be wide open be wide open I love it okay I do wanna jump into your spread this is some amazing energies here for you Leo so if you've been manifesting if you've been trying to manifest a soulmate into your life they're coming that's all I can tell you all right, let's see. What's the most significant energy for the month of um, April? I'm working with the runic tarot for you. Thank you, three guys. Look at that. Ace of Cups. Oh, Leo. You are receiving a divine offer. And it's an offer of love. It's somebody that resonates at the same at the same level with you leo there's love coming into your life and it's a healthy love it's a love that sees you the real you your potential your beauty your sun energy we'll clarify this Whew. Lots of water, lots of emotions, you know, lots of, um, lots of magic, <laughs> to be honest. What's the challenge for the month of April for you? Page of 
hands. Hmm. Okay, this kind of gives me this uh, vibe of stay away from me. You know, I'm not ready. No, I'm not sure I want this. You know, this might be your ego. That's how I'm seeing this card right now. Mm, don't pay attention to your ego when this person comes into your life, you know? <laughs> Try to be open. That's the, the big theme here. That's the big message. Oh, your spirit guides want you to be open to this person, okay? And you're going to feel it in your bones when this person shows up. Your body will communicate to you. Remember the channel message? What's in the shadows? Six of Pentacles and Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, you're manifesting this. You're weaving. You're weaving something into consciousness right now. You're weaving something into your life right now. Wheel of Fortune, luck, expansion, success. With the Six of Pentacles, which is generosity, balance, a balance give and take. Yep. I'm telling you, Leo, you're manifesting this beautiful relationship. And it's coming. Month of April. What's coming to an end? Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you're working on your legacy. You're working on your, on your financial projects. And you are creating your legacy during this time. You've been working hard, Leo. Spirit guides are recognizing that. 10 10. Wow. What's crowning this energy? Eight of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. Okay. These cards are flying. I'm being guided to take one more. And King of Wands, which is your energy. You've been gathering a lot of information and knowledge regarding your projects, your financial stability. And so with that comes a lot of projects that you are realizing during this time that are not giving you any fruits. That are not being abundant for you. And you are releasing that. You are gaining a lot of clarity on what works and what doesn't so that you can move in the future only with the projects that are going to be successful. You've got it, Leo. There's a lot of um, passion and vibrancy and, um, and determination. You know, you're going to make it happen and now you have the knowledge and clarity and nothing will stand in your way. I love it. What's coming? Oof. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Mm -hmm. Okay, this person might be a Sag, I heard, for some of you. Anything else? Seven of Swords and Justice. Wow, okay. <laughs> now, Seven of Swords, it can be a secretive energy. And that's how I'm feeling right now. Your spirit guides, your spirit guides are working behind the scenes. You are not expecting this energy, this soulmate to come into your life right now during this time. You might just be, as I said, doing you, working on your projects, you know, living your best life, not really thinking of having a love relationship during this time. Well, your spirit guides are creating this opportunity because this person will help you even further in your career, but also in you understanding your power, there will be a major support for you. And soulmates are usually, they come into our lives to teach us lessons, of course, but they are not the twin flame vibe. Twin souls, will trigger something painfully within you so you can heal and most of the times they will walk away they're not going to spend the rest of their lives with you they will help you become the best version of yourself okay justice libra energy it's balance it's truth it's clarity 
and it's also a yin and yang that's beautifully balanced. That's what temperance is, right? It's al uh, it's alchemizing your power. It's alchemizing uh, your divine masculine and divine feminine. I love this energy. Leo, this is going to be a beautiful period for you. And it's not expected, that's for sure. <laughs> what is the blind spot? Queen of Cups. More emotions, more intuitive nudges. Five of Swords. Hmm. Okay, and the Sun. There might be some uh, mother wounds that you are releasing and healing during this time. You are acknowledging and being awakened to the healing process that needs to take place for you. Yeah, you're moving away from some kind of wounds and traumas that you have been neglected, I heard. And now they're showing up into your consciousness so they can be uh, worked through. Okay. Yeah, it has to do with uh, a mother figure here. We'll clarify these energies. Let's uh, continue. Well, let's find out what is the external factors. What are the external factors during this time? The magician. <laughs> Understanding your power, Leo, and you are powerful. You are understanding how manifestation works. You are creating your own world. You're creating your own possibilities. You're creating your path right now. And know it or not, you're bringing in this soulmate. I do feel like you know it subconsciously. You are working on manifesting this beautiful soulmate into your life. Anything else? And the devil. Yeah, you are alchemizing your light and dark. You are integrating your light and dark. And that will make you the magician absolutely you're understanding that light without dark is not possible and vice versa mm -hmm. beautiful leo hopes and fears for you for the month of april three of wands and death wow talk about releasing an expansion yeah, you are regenerating something within you. And this uh, ending and release, the fact that you are letting something go, uh, most likely some um, negative aspects of yourself, will bring you a lot of expensive energies into your life. And it will bring you a lot of luck and opportunities that are going to open up to you. An incredible month, Leo. Really, get ready. And likely outcome. Wow, these are flying. Four of Cups. Yeah, it's like, see this person, it's uh, just relaxing, meditating, taking a little rest, doing them. I'm just going to do me and then, boom. The High Priestess. <laughs> Can be a scorpio you're being guided to meditate um because clarity and uh, expansion will knock at your door in the month of april yeah this person is going to show up unexpectedly in your life and it's going to feel like a like a big uh, aha moment when you're going to meet this person mm -hmm. Okay, let's clarify a couple of these energies. Then I will be taking most of the clarifications in the extended, okay? So if you'd like to join me there, you'll find a, a link in the description uh, box down below. Let's find out what is this Ace of Cups about for Leo. <laughs> wow. King of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles and Eight of Swords. You're not seeing, but this person will bring a legacy with them and they will want to create 
something sustainable and something very stable foundation wise you're not seeing it but this person carries the ten of pentacles it's going to feel amazing that's all i can tell you page of wands what is this uh, challenge what's this challenge here Hmm, Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords, the Hangman. You might be harboring some uh, pains from a uh, past relationship. And that's why you might not want to give this person a chance or the time of the day. Please uh, allow yourself to be open to the possibilities of having a soulmate in your life. Okay? This person is healthy, whoever is going to come in. This person is going to bring abundance and love into your life. Take a moment, meanwhile, and reflect on all of these wounds and uh, dead energies I heard that you have to let go of. Okay? But do not sit too long in this energy. Thank you, Spirit Guide. Just acknowledge it and release it. Wow. All right, let's get a soul's truth in closing. If you enjoy this reading and uh, you would like to help me out, you'd like to support my channel, please like and subscribe. Let me know how this resonated with you in the comment box down below. I would really love to know your story and to know you better. Let's see, what is the soul's truth for Leo? How can I infuse more self-love and compassion into my life? If your compassion does not include yourself, it is incomplete. Today's soul action. Choose one self-care action to do today. Set stronger boundaries. Meditate and listen to your heart. Yes, speak to yourself with compassion. Focus on your strengths. Say no to something that isn't a soul yes. Say yes to something you're afraid of. Let go of what you cannot control. Stay far away from drama and negativity. Ask for help and allow it. Write down three things you are grateful for. This really uh, was highlighted for me. Um, meditate and listen to your heart. Listen to your body and listen to your heart. Okay, Leo. And in closing, I'm going to use my own decks that I created. They will be available at some point for purchase. If you like to purchase them for yourself, it's called the Soulmates in Separation Oracle, which really speaks to this reading. And so I'm going to use them for the first time. <laughs> Hooray! Cheers to Soulmates uh, in Separation Oracle. Let's see. What Spirit Guides want you to tell you about this person, about this soulmate that will appear into your life. Thank you so much, three guys. Show us clearly. Your intelligence turns me on. Okay. So, this person, when they will show up in your life, they will really love the, the way you think, all the knowledge that you have and you've gathered. And that will be very important to them and very important to you. I think this person would really speak to your smart energy, to your intelligent energy. One more, please. My senses are heightened whenever you are near me. Exactly. Your body will talk to you during this time. Please listen to it. Your senses will be heightened. Perfect. Perfect ending. Thank you so much for you guys. I wish you nothing but the best, Leo. Have a wonderful April. Know that I love and appreciate you very much. And I really hope to see you back here at the Heart Space. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.